hit record. So we will have a recording, and that will be available sometime tomorrow unless uh, the technology gods uh, deem it uh, not possible. But otherwise, I think we'll be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and play. Looks like you guys can still see me fine. Uh, okay, there we go. If I could only find my mouse, that would be awesome. No, I can't get the mouse. Hmm. Okay, we're going to go this route because I like to have simple controls and this will work just fine. Can you guys see my screen okay? If you could just let me know that you can see uh, my screen okay, I'm going to go ahead and kind of configure my toolbars, which I'm doing right now. Looks great. Awesome. So uh, first off, thank you so much. Uh, have you guys bought brought bought, I should say, Trust Funnel. What we're going to be talking about today is the origins of Trust Funnel. Amazing. We're going, to we're going to take you back about two years. We're going to talk about how this book came about, and we're going to talk about specifically one of the modules or chapters uh, that, that's in the book. And what's really cool about that is this is absolutely uh, a simple way to move forward, get results. That's what we're going to talk about Tonight, now again, of course, I am Brian G. Johnson, author, speaker, the world's first poodle wrangler, and it is so good to have you on this webinar uh, tonight. And I, I want to let you know right now that absolutely there is something available at the end of this presentation, and I'm going to encourage you to take advantage of that. However, regardless of your decision to buy anything with me tonight, I'm going to do everything in, in my power to really add lots of value, to give you some great ideas, to help you move forward and get some uh, solid results. Okay, so we've got a lot of information. Now, here you can see uh, some of the books I've published, Trust Funnel, Azon Bestseller. And as I mentioned, what we're going to talk about tonight is, is kind of where Trust Funnel originated from. You see... Back in about 2011, I started thinking about coming up with a concept where I wouldn't be dependent or rely upon any one traffic source. Uh, Google couldn't take my business away from me. That's what I wanted. I wanted something where, you know, Facebook couldn't stop my business. I wanted to create something that will be here for me today and available for me tomorrow as well. And that really started off with a first uh, product and concept called Revenge of the Affiliate. And that's a little bit what we're going to talk about tonight on this webinar. Now, I want to let you know that in the book Trust Funnel, there is a missing chapter 12. And that chapter tells the overall strategy and tactics that, again, I first shared in Revenge. And this is a, a method, as I mentioned, that you can use to absolutely jumpstart you can use to jumpstart your results and uh, it is being recorded and we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll get a recording available if uh, the the technology gar gods do not stop us that'll be happening tomorrow first of, first off Let's just back up online a little bit and let's talk about success. I, I'm going to spend about 10 minutes talking about some higher level things that I think are incredibly important and that's why they're here. What do the most successful online entrepreneurs do and what do they have working for them? Number one, they have the ability to drive traffic. They're driving traffic. It's critical and everybody, most people know that, right? You know, we, we have to have traffic. Number two is building a list. If you're not building a list, I'm going to recommend that you start thinking about doing so. However, I'm also going to give you some methods you can use tonight to basically move forward, get started without spending any money on online at all. 
Uh, imagine that, spending no money online and being able to make money. I'm gonna show you how to do that on this webinar, but I'm gonna encourage you to think big. Like quit your job big. Like build a house on the mountainside, above the city, travel, do the things you want, and to do that, I would recommend a mailing list because it allows you to reach out and connect with pe people in the future. And lastly, the most successful people, they publish assets, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about tonight. And that could be as simple as a blog post, a blog post. It could be uh, an ebook. It could be a status update on Facebook. But what they publish is an asset. And I want, I want to ask you a question. Would you be interested in partnering with the world's greatest internet marketer? Imagine being able to partner with the world's greatest internet marketer, and it won't cost you a dime. Someone that has the ability to not just drive traffic, but to drive buyer traffic to be able to convert that traffic into a sale. Uh, a, 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 an internet marketer that can help to build your list. And best of all, this marketer handles all the crappy stuff, like transactions and refunds and setting up complex funnels. And, and it even gets better. What if I told you that this uh, world-leading internet marketer is willing to pay you 70% of every transaction that occurs, and it won't cost you a dime. Would, would you be interested in that? I mean, think about it. That is, to me, that is amazing, and that's exactly where we're gonna go on this webinar tonight. All right, so another quick thought. You know what? Success takes sacrifice. If you're not happy with where you're at, I'm going to encourage you right now to figure out where you want to go and where you want to be in three to four months and to focus on one thing. If you don't do that, you're going to struggle to get the results that you're after because you're not going to have a clear direction. You can't do it all. Steve Jobs has got this amazing quote that I love. Now, this is a guy that started in his garage and changed the world. Amazing. Think about the phone in your pocket or the, the, the computer I'm transmitting through right now. I'm just amazed at the technology. And Steve says that people think focus means saying yes to the things you got to focus on. But that's not it at all. It means, but that's not what it means at all. It means saying no to the hundreds of other good ideas that there are. And in the interview, Steve went on and said, innovation is saying no to 1,000 things. So if you're not happy with where you're at, figure out exactly what you want to do and focus on that. And when you're able to do that, I guarantee magic will begin to unfold all around you. Okay. Now, what we're going to do as we move forward is I'm going to spend about the next 65 minutes taking you A to Z exactly how to uh, ca capture this amazing opportunity. I'm going to walk you through the most important things, and we're going to talk about ebook sales. Now, if that scares you, if it sounds like something you're really excited about, awesome. Hang on. If that is something that you're saying, oh, not ebooks again, I would encourage you. To give it a shot, to see what I have to say, to open yourself up to the possibility, because I'm going to do my best to show you lots of different models that you can use to create books easily that can put money in your pocket, that can build your list, that can create a, a real opportunity for you. Now, look at the amount of sales that are happening with eBooks. In 2011, Ebook sales came in under a billion dollars. And when you publish to the Kindle, you get to keep 70% of that. I mean, that's amazing to me to be able to keep 70% of 
of a one dollar, one billion dollar figure. That's absolutely unbelievable. And I tapped into this myself and I was amazed, surprised, ecstatic. And I'm going to show you why and how I'm going to give you exact details, case studies, how much money I made, how much money other people made. OK, why Kindle? Why Kindle? Well, number one, this is the only platform that pays you. OK, you can like publish a blog and hope you get traffic from Google and try to get the money. Kindle sends you a check. You can maybe think video marketing so sounds great. And you can publish videos and you can hope to get accepted by the partner program. And that's kind of getting a payment, but it's not like Kindle. Kindle is backed by the number one e-commerce site on the planet. Their whole focus is to sell stuff and you get to keep 70%. It's the only uh, platform that will pay you. This is buyer traffic. There's a tremendous amount of people every day looking for eBooks. Okay. This is authority. When you publish a book, you become more of a leading authority. When you put a, a book that you published on your website, the content on your website increases because of perceived value. Okay, you get to claim expert status. You're an expert on the subject. It can lead to more speaking gigs. It can help you to get where you want to go. And that's why when I started creating the concepts for Trust Funnel, I first focused on Kindle because it was the easy button to get money today in my pocket. And I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. Social proof. When you publish a book, you have social proof that, again, you are that expert. And as I mentioned, perceived value. When you publish a book, the information that you publish is going to have a higher perceived value. So if you've got a blog or if you're trying to get clients and you can say, hey, you know, uh, Jim, I know you're looking for information on social media marketing or this or that or uh, weight loss. And I'd love to give you uh, my book for free. That increases the value that you bring to the table. Here's an example. You can see this is my website. And on the sidebar, I have available at Amazon, Trust Funnel and Azon Bestseller. That instantly leads more credibility to my website. And, and it just helps me to get where I am today. And it can do the same for you. As soon as you publish, you're an author. Okay, think about that. As soon as you publish, you have something that a lot of people don't. So again, let's just say you're a social media marketer and you're in the city of Los Angeles and there are about 500 people that are competing with you. As soon as you publish to Kindle, you've got something that maybe half of them don't. You're an author. And when you use the methods that I'll share with you tonight, you'll become a best-selling author. And from there, you can, uh, if you do very well, you'll become a number one best selling author. And each of these titles carries a little bit more weight, a little bit more authority, and so on. As I mentioned, list building. I'm going to show you how I build a list using Kindle, and it funnels money into my bank. And I'm going to share exactly how I do it as we move forward. Okay, does, is this making sense, you guys? Is this something you're. You, you know, I just hope I'm opening the door of opportunity in your mind. I really am because I'm excited about this. I've leveraged Kindle for a long time and it's helped so many people to make that money. And I know you can tap into that yourself. Again, it's the only one. Okay, so that's a little bit of the backstory. Now, like I said, over the next 60 minutes, I'm going to be on a mission to really deliver value. I'm going to go out of my way and I want you guys to let me know how I'm doing. I'm going to ask you as we're, you know, maybe a third of the way through. Okay. So if you can just hang out with me, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Anytime you want to get great results with something, you want to move forward and build a blog or publish a Kindle book 
or do some video marketing. It really makes sense to sit down and think about all the things you want and should probably do and create a list. And when you create that list, you can then prioritize and focus on, on those very things. When you create a list, it gives you the opportunity to separate things that you might want in order to have the success you're after from the things you need. And this is so incredibly powerful. Okay, I, I, I know it, it can be a little like wishy-washy, but I want you to think about this. If we look at SEO and we, we learn about 200 things we should do on our blog or our post to, to rank in Google, it can become overwhelming. But if we focus on the most important stuff, the things we absolutely need and we focus on that and what we absolutely must have, it allows us to really dial in to what is most important. And that's exactly what, what I've done really for about six or eight years. And in this webinar, we're going to talk about traffic and conversions, how to drive traffic, how to convert the traffic as quickly as possible, and how you can literally in a week from today, have money from a new revenue source in your pocket. Do you guys think that's possible? Is there any way that that is uh, possible? Do you think it's possible that you could start in the now, in, in an hour from now, two hours from now, with Kindle and be making money in seven days or maybe three days? Because what I want to share with you is it's absolutely possible, and I'm going to show you right now. So let's go. Okay. There's the easy way, and there's the hard way. And one of the things that I found about discovering the easiest path to wealth is to focus and prioritize, to make that list, to dial in and understand what's most important and to focus on that. This is my hero. This man led the way for innovation. Albert Einstein not only had a rocking haircut, but he said that everything should be made as simple as possible, but no simpler. Now on this webinar, I could drown you in a myriad of self-publishing things and this and that, but I'm not going to do that because that won't serve you. Instead, I'm going to simply propose six simple steps that you can take to make money within days using Kindle. Six steps that focus on the most important things. So you can publish, drive traffic, and convert that traffic to make money. Everything should be as simple as possible, but no simpler. Here's a good example of that. This is your brain on a web browser, okay? Now, sometimes as marketers, we kind of get a little excited by all the buttons we can push, all the software we can tap into, all the power, okay? And this is a browser with about 19 toolbars installed, okay? Now, can you imagine if you had to uh, write an email? You're trying to, it's an important email, you're trying to send it off to someone, and this is what you're staring at. My browser is very streamlined. I don't have a lot of toolbars, and I do just fine uh, making fantastic money, and you can too. Six simple steps, drive traffic and convert it to traffic. Now, this really started, as I said, about two to three years ago. And I first got this idea when I was at Traffic and Conversions in 2012 in Austin, Texas. And I was excited because I knew I was going to tap into Kindle. I was going to figure it out. Every year I have a new kind of what am I going to do with the year? What is Brian Johnson going to do to continue to drive traffic? And 2012 was about Kindle. And what I'm going to share with you was based on about... 438 days of scientific experiments and testing. I published dozens of books, most under different pen names. I, I, I experimented trying to find out the sweet spot, and this is what we're going to dive into. Okay, let's get started. Case study. I'm going to share with you a book that I published. It's 1,200 words. It took six hours. I did not write the book. So if you're thinking, you know, well, 
gosh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really that big on writing. I didn't write the damn book. In fact, I didn't create a cover. In fact, I outsourced the entire thing for about 75 bucks. Would you like to see that report? Is that something that you guys would be interested in? So let's talk a, a little bit more. Let's kind of go in and, and kind of dig in to some specifics. Now, this was a nonfiction book, and there's a very good reason why it's nonfiction. I'm going to explain why, because it's the, it's the path to easy. Now, I don't say that because we want to be lazy. Honestly, I think we should strive for greatness. But at the same time, it doesn't mean we need to bang our heads against the wall with something trying to get results. I believe in getting results, scaling up, you know, building more and moving forward. Now, again, this is a book on space. It was only 1,200 words. I outsourced it for about $75. And you can do this yourself. It's pretty darn easy. Or you can outsource, and I'll share how as we move forward. This is the book. It took me a while to figure this out. You know, I, I had been self-publishing now for probably about nine or ten months, and I had some good results, but my first book took me so long to complete. Oh, my gosh. And I outsourced it, and it was, I don't know, 10,000 words. And this little bad boy outpaced it, earned as much money. I got it done in, in six hours. Literally, it was like a weekend. I started on a Friday, spent an hour or two coming up with some ideas and plans. I wrote down some specifics on Saturday. I was done on Sunday. I had it back about 10 days later. Again, I didn't write the book. And what you're going to see tonight, I didn't write any of these books. Now, I did write Trust Funnel, and I love to write. But again, it's not necessary. And I didn't create any of the covers that you're going to see tonight. And frankly... 99% of you here should not create your own covers because you don't have the skills that will allow you to make the most money. And if you're a graphics designer and you love that, that's awesome. But if you can make $500 a month or $1,000 a month, wouldn't you sign up for the $1,000 a month? So... I'm going to share with you some of the results, the financial results that I've had. Okay, so this is the, the sales here from one particular book in one month. $987.50 from one book in one month. That's exciting to me. Uh, this is a different book. Okay, this is a book on raw food. And I basically generated over 200 sales. I made $452.50 in one month from one book, and I've got bunches of them, okay? Now, here's the same book. Remember that first screenshot, this one here, 987? This is a few months later, $586.25 from a different month, same book, okay? Now, this is our space book. If you notice here, it says space, a kid's book about space. I made 123 sales. I had 27 uh, free units promoted. <clears throat> and that's pretty darn exciting because it cost me 75 bucks. It was like a little side project. Not only... Do I publish these books to make money? But these books put leads in my list every single day. Okay, notice this is my email list. Okay, this is from a while ago. It still looks the same because based, based on what I do with my marketing, and we're going to talk about this uh, as we move forward. Okay, I build my websites. I do things in a certain way to make money, build a list. It becomes more powerful and allows you to get better results and move forward. But I don't want to just tell you about all the cool things I've done. Okay. Now this is Dustin. Dustin has been with me for probably five years. I taught Dustin SEO. I taught Dustin how to use WordPress. I taught Dustin how to self-publish. He published a number one best-selling book and made all kinds of money. 
This is Catherine. She jumped in with a coaching program of mine and made uh, all her money back within four or five weeks. So she came into the program. She gave me a bunch of money. And she got all her money back like a month later. Real people, these are not gurus. These are good people that I've had the pleasure to work with. And you can do the same. This is Amazon, business and money. Okay, these are like the players. There are, I think it's like over 300,000 published books. And by leveraging self-publishing and smart marketing, I actually made it to page one. Look at that, number eight right there, Azon bestseller. I'm with some amazing marketers. And when I launched this book, I was outselling Steve Jobs' biography, um, The Wolf of Wall Street, and numerous books. And you can do the same thing. And what I've just shown you is the results of the six steps that I'm going to share with you on this very webinar as we uh, begin to move forward. So I think that's pretty cool. And I wanted to share that with you, not to brag. And some of you might think, well, you know, gosh, let's just get on with it. But I think it's important that we lay the foundation that what I'm prepared to share with you today is based on real results. This isn't hyper theory. This stuff works, okay? And when I got started, I did it from ground zero. I didn't use a list. I didn't mail my list. In fact, when I got started, I, I'm not going to mail my list about a book about space. I, I published books about smoothies. I didn't, I didn't mention anything what I was doing because I wanted to have a, a pure case study, right? So I didn't have a list. I didn't have an advertising budget. I didn't have any previous books or customers, and I published under a pen name. And again, I did that because I didn't want people knowing what Brian Johnson was up to. And uh, Kelly, welcome. Good to have you on board. So first, first rule about marketing <clears throat> is you want to stop and ask yourself, you know, what are the consumers looking for? What, are, what do they want? And if I can give them what they want, I probably don't have to do that much selling because they already want it. It's, in, in their, it's, in, it's their idea. And if the thought of writing a book scares you, well, there's so many different types of books. Example, children's books, not too many words, lots of pictures. Nonfiction makes it really easy. Now, a nonfiction children's book should be educational and it should be interesting for kids and the parents should feel as if the children are getting something out of the book. Now, as we move forward, I'm going to spend about 10 minutes sharing how anybody here can create a children's book. But I want, I want you to know that as we move forward, this presentation and really what I'm going to be teaching over the next three months is really geared for about two groups of people. I'm not going to tell you it's for everybody and everybody should buy it. That's not really how I roll. This is for people that are brand new. They're trying to get established. They want to make some money. Okay, people that might consider themselves newbies. This is fantastic. And what I show you with the children's books will probably be appealing. I would hope so anyway. And at the same time, if you've got a little bit more experience, if you've been around the block, you can use another model that I'll share with you to launch a book like Trust Funnel or Azon Bestseller to build your brand, to build your authority, to build your list, to put money in your pocket and do all of that. So, so we're going to talk about children's books, but we can really do, uh, we can do a lot with the same six steps. Okay, first off, anytime you think about publishing a children's book, it's really pretty easy. You don't need expensive software. You don't need to like spend hours and hours doing research. In fact, I really encourage people to jump in, get started and get published because so many people never reach the finish line. They quit. They don't make it to the end. And when that happens, frustration sets in. Feelings of I can't do this sets in. Instead, I like to make it easy, make it simple and get moving. So we can go to Amazon. We can go to uh, categories, okay? We can select children's books. And then under uh, the main category of children's books, you'll notice on the image on the right, there are all types of subcategories like animals, 
fairies, general, etc. And we can dial down into a specific category like animals. Now, what we're going to need is content, and I'll talk about that as we move forward, and images. Children's books have lots of images, and that makes our job pretty darn easy. And we don't have to spend a lot of money on these images uh, as we move forward. In fact, we can do it for free. Okay, so how do we go ahead and kind of come up, come up with some ideas to help us create a great children's book based on a nonfiction animal, like butterflies, for instance, or insect? Well, we can go to Wikipedia. We can just uh, type into Google butterflies, and no, most of the time Wikipedia will come up, and we can go straight to Wikipedia, and from there we'll, we'll find all kinds of helpful information on butterflies. And what's so nice about this is that all this amazing research has already been done for us. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should copy. In fact, I'm going to say I don't want you to copy. Don't copy. Don't take it that far. One of the goals with this is to create value that people will enjoy. So people will buy additional books from you in the future. But notice when we come to this uh, article on Wikipedia, We've got life cycle, eggs, caterpillars, wing development, adult uh, images, uh, scales, seasonal migration, flight paths, uh, defenses. There's all kinds of amazing information. And if you scroll through this um, article, you could basically come up with an outline for a book. And that's the idea is to create a simple outline for a book on butterflies. So what I would do is I would fire up uh, pages uh, on the Apple platform or maybe Word if you're a Microsoft Word fan. And I would literally just create a bunch of bullet points and then I would organize those bullet points and I would uh, then hand that off to an outsourcer and I'd give them very specific instructions. And we'll, we'll cover that as we move forward. But once we have those, those lovely bullet points, we can then find images that match the bullets. You see how easy this is? I mean, it really is. It's simple. And here you can see I, I've searched uh, the image content uh, at search.creativecommons.org, and I searched for gray wolf, or I could search for uh, butterflies, and I've selected Flickr, and that will give me all kinds of images that I can use, and I can use them, and it doesn't cost me a thing. I can use them for commercial purposes. I can put them in books. It's not a problem. Now, you do have to give image attribution. So what that means is if you include a picture of a gray wolf or a butterfly and you source it at Flickr through this uh, website, and again, the address is search.creativecommons.org, you can go ahead and save those images and just uh, add give the attribution of the image creator. And each image has the information that you can add as far as who created the image and you give them credit and you're good to go. Now I mentioned outsourcing. How do we outsource that? <coughs> Excuse me, a little bit under the weather, but we will press on. Well, number one, we can use need an article. And this is a great service. And because we're outsourcing, you know, 750 words, we don't have to spend a tremendous amount of money and we can make our money back once we publish the book because Amazon's going to be paying us 70% royalties. Now, another source you might want to check out is Elance or Freelancer. So Beth, I hear what you're saying, and I, I want to present with you a way that you can create books, and this is a great system you can use. Um, it's really in, in your imagination and what you come up with, okay? So there's a lots of opportunities to come up with different ideas for different types of books, and again, I'm not saying we should just create children's books. As I mentioned, I create and publish books about marketing because that's my niche, and we can create books about lots of different things. This is simply how to leverage my six-step system. 
Yes, uh, Karen asked a question, but if you put the image in the book, isn't, isn't that not a commercial enterprise? It is, but if you look here at this uh, screen capture, it says, I want something that I can use for commercial purposes. So it's absolutely fine, and lots of people upload images to like Flickr or Photopea that you can use, and you can add it into a book, and it's no problem at all. But, Karen, you do have to attribute the image, as I mentioned. <clears throat> so as I, I mentioned, work in pages or work in Word, and you can use short text blocks. So remember, earlier, we talked about creating the bullet points, right? We have all these bullet points, and maybe you've got a bullet point for eggs and a bullet point for uh, caterpillars. You might want to create a short text block of maybe two or three sentences for each of those. Uh, that should be easy for children to read. It's very important to remember that. These are children, and we want to make it easy for kids. And also, it should be interesting because the, chi the children aren't going to be buying these books. It'll be the parents when they want a book uh, to, to read to their child as they're going to bed or whatnot. <coughs> now, again, we want to create an asset, really important. Many people fail because they don't focus uh, on the marketing. You know, lots of people got started with Kindle and they just thought, well, I'm going to create a book. I love writing. And they don't focus on the marketing. And really what we're doing with these six-step program is we're focusing on the marketing to ensure we're driving traffic and that convert and the traffic is converting for us. Uh, you're welcome, Karen. And someone said, I'm shocked that you're taking uh, questions. I, you know, here's the thing, gang. I said I'm going to do my best to make this worth your time. I'm going to, I'm paying attention to what you're saying. I really want to help you move forward. I want you to get results. That's why I do what I do. Now, the six-step formula is designed to help ensure that mistakes don't happen and that you focus on what's most important. And what we're trying to do is really to help Amazon sell a bunch of our products and they'll pay us all day long 70% royalties because that's their goal <coughs> <coughs> their goal is to help us sell books because then they make money and that's what's so powerful about this check this out this is an email that my friend sent to me when we were working on a project for actually this program that I'm going to be sharing with you later tonight um, I had a copywriter that was helping me with some copy, and he was doing research on my books, and the next day, this is what he gets in the mail. Matthew Quick, are you interested in cookbooks, food, or wine? If so, you might be interested in these items. Now, that book at the top, Smoothie Recipes for Weight Loss, has generated me thousands and thousands of dollars, and it's really neat because Amazon is selling for us. Have you guys heard of retargeting? Have you heard about people like using pixels. Did you know that Amazon does that for the books that they promote? And they pay for it. Imagine, it's awesome. Okay, let's get started now. As we first move forward, I just wanted to show you that it's pretty easy to publish a book, to get your brain started and thinking, you know, gosh, if my hangup is publishing a book or writing a book, there are methods that I can use to create something that doesn't really take too much time. And that's just one method. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start at step one. I'm going to walk you through the six steps and really share with you how you can use this to create a marketing system that did, gets great results, makes money, builds lists, and, and more. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for three books in the top ten results of any category. Okay, so we're going to go to categories on Amazon. We're going to pay attention to the top 10 results, and we're going to look for three books that have been posted or published for at least 60 days, <clears throat> and they have an Amazon bestsellers rank of 15,000 or below, okay? Does anybody have any idea as far as uh, why we want to look for books that have been published for at least 60 days? Any ideas there? 
took me a while to add this to the formula, but it's kind of important because we're looking for longevity. We want to publish books that are going to be able to make sales today, tomorrow, next month, and, and, and the month after. And people love new. And Amazon uh, artificially boosts brand new books and they push them out to the audiences that they have, their customer base. And because of that, we're looking for three books in the top 10 results that have been published for at least 60 days with an Amazon bestsellers rank of 15,000. Now what this does is this, is ensure, this will ensure that you're creating a book based on a selling topic. Think about that. We're able to jump in, identify three books that have been selling pretty darn well with an uh, Amazon bestsellers rank of 15,000 or below, and we want to ensure that that category that we're, that we're thinking about publishing to is a selling topic. We don't want to lift a finger until uh, we identify a selling topic. You got it. You guys are nailing it here. A lot of you are saying to ensure that there are going to be sales for the long time, to continue to make sales uh, exactly, Karen. Uh, Kelly has got it. So they have stickiness exactly. So here's what it looks like. If you go to Amazon and you look at any any book, any ebook that's published, you'll see this section called product details. <coughs> and what we can do is we can identify the Amazon bestsellers rank, and above that we can see when the book was published. Okay, so here we can see it was published on July 5th, 2011. It's got an Amazon bestsellers rank of 57,000. Okay, that's not enough. And what we're doing is we're paying attention to these category links. Okay, see, see here where it says Kindle Store and then Kindle eBooks, Teens and Education. So if we click that link where it says Education, we'll be taken to a very specific category that's Amazon bestsellers. So notice here it says Amazon bestsellers, and these are the top books in this category. And all we need to do is go through and identify if there are three books in the top 10 with an Amazon bestsellers rank of 15,000 or below. That's it. And if we can find three books, then we can approve the category. Okay, we can approve the category and we can know that the category of health and fitness or weight loss or whatever is a solid category and sells a lot of books. And what's interesting is while there are tons of categories that sell a tremendous amount of books, there are plenty of categories that are duds. This method eliminates those. <clears throat> Again, three books in the top 10 that have been published for at least 60 days with a bestsellers rank of 15,000 or below. 15,000, Rachel. Good to see you, by the way. 15,000, okay? 15,000 or below. It's children's book, uh, you know, 25,000 is fine. All right. So with step one, we're identifying selling categories and we're only going to publish books into those selling categories and we're going to eliminate huge chunks of the market so we don't spend time doing stuff that doesn't make us any money. You're welcome, Rachel. Yes, uh, Brad. If you're going to do a children's book that was a typo, stick to 25K, okay? If, you, if anybody else mentioned uh, saw that, if you're thinking about children's books, keep it below 25K, okay? All right. Now, so what we've done is we've kind of identified what kind of topics are good topics. Now, with step two, we're going to ramp up the traffic. And this will absolutely allow you to drive more traffic from Google and Amazon, resulting in more sales. Now, notice here, I searched for smoothie recipes for weight loss, and my book came up number one. Now, I'll tell you, I've given this presentation a fair amount of time. I guarantee you that there has been at least 100 ebooks published on smoothies. And I don't know where this book ranks now. It probably still ranks pretty darn good. I know it ranks in Google. But this method works like gangbusters, okay? And the idea is this. 
We start off and we identify a topic. Here's the, uh, the Google rankings that I mentioned. So check this out, it's pretty cool. Remember I said traffic not just from Amazon, but from Google. And when I started with Kindle, I heard people saying, you know, don't pay attention to Google because this is Amazon. And I didn't think that made sense because I thought, you know, why not drive more traffic if we can? Especially if people are searching for books at Google. And here I am, number one, for smoothies for weight loss book, which, by the way, is a real search term. Now, it doesn't get a lot of searches, but all these little things I'm going to show you, they all add up and they result in more traffic which is good, higher conversions, which is great, and more money in my pocket, which is awesome. So how do we do this? Uh, the traffic multiplier. Here's another different search term. Again, number one. Here's what we do. First off, if, if I'm going to decide I'm going to launch a book on self-publishing or maybe smoothie recipes, <clears throat> I'm going to start off with a keyword phrase that best describes the type of book I'm going to publish, okay, like smoothie recipes. And here, I, I, I want to draw your attention to a few things. So check this out, guys. This is kind of important. We're going to return to, to this later. I'm going to draw your attention back to this book here. You see the book that's actually beating mine? They're actually kind of screwing up, and they could be doing a lot better. And I'm going to share what that is as we move forward. So, so just kind of remember that my book is number two, but I bet you I drive actually more sales, and I'll explain why as we move forward. And also, check out um, Amazon. Uh, I'm ranked number two out of 2,000 results. Pretty cool. Oh, and here's a num another number one best-selling book of mine, the one I shared with you. And you can see here there's a National Geographic, right? They're a number one bestseller. And there's little Brian Johnson who dreamed up on a Saturday, Friday. I think I'll publish a book about space. It was published two weeks later. It cost them about 75 bucks and made all kinds of money. Pretty awesome. Uh, Helen, no, the top 10. So in the category, you just look at the top 10 books in, in the category, right? And then you look for, uh, yeah, oh, in paid, yes, in paid, not free. That's correct, Helen. Well, uh, Rico says, how do I choose the books? Let's say I'm thinking about creating a, a book on smoothies or something. Then I just go and I say, like, what's the best category? And I look where I might publish that smoothie book. And then uh, that's how I, I do that. Yes, they do. Uh, Kindle does allow photo books. All right. So let's uh, let's move along here. So like I said, this is incredibly powerful. This one smoothie book that I shared with you generated $987, and it's made thousands and thousands of dollars. It's been number one, I think, either two or maybe three times. And the reason for that is I continue to roll out promotions. It continues to sell. It doesn't always sell. It might not be you know, selling real well right now, but because of the promotion that, promotions I can roll out, and I'll show you that as we move forward. I'm able to do very, very well financially. So how do I come up with the titles for my books? This is step two, and it's super important. This allows you to drive more tra traffic, so check it out. Super important. Number one is this first part of the title, part one, is the primary keyword phrase that I found on Amazon. Okay, did you get that? The first part of the book title is actually a keyword phrase and that allows me to rank better compared to most books in my category that I'm competing against. Super important. Now, that's where a lot of people stop. But I want as much traffic as I can, and I want to appeal as to many searchers as I can that would be interested in my book. So I come up with a secondary title that includes additional singular keyword phrases. I'm going to go exactly over how to do this and what it means. So if you're not following me, I'm just laying out the basics. I'm going to go through it step by step. The first keyword is smoothie recipes for weight loss. That's primary. And the secondary is the daily diet cleanse and green smoothie detox book. 
Now, I added book, which is kind of funny. Like, why would you put the word book at the end of your book? Some people said, it's, it's, it's stupid. Why would you do that? And I said, simple, because I'd rather make 10% more. So if you make 100000 a year, I make 110000 a year. And if you're just starting out and you need to get money in your pocket, you might want to do the same thing. Here's how we do this, step by step. You go to Amazon, you put in the primary keyword that describes the book you're going to write, create, or outsource. Okay, is this making sense? Yeah, so uh, Dana, this is exactly how we do it. So Dana was asking, where do I get the keywords? We start at Amazon, always at Amazon first, okay? And we add in one singular keyword. So I add in the word smoothie, smoothie and notice the keywords that come up. Now, what's interesting here is these keyword phrases are not in alphabetical order. The first keyword is smoothies, then smoothie recipes, okay? then smoothie weight loss, then smoothie recipes free. So these are not in alphabetical order, which can lead me to believe that the ones at the top drive more traffic, which I it makes a lot of sense. People probably search for smoothies more than they do for smoothie weight loss secrets. And I chose this, this phrase, smoothie recipes for weight loss, because number one, it's, it targets smoothie recipes, which is the second uh, term, right? It also targets smoothies, and it also targets this phrase exactly, smoothie recipes for weight loss. Does that make sense, everybody? All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through the alphabet one by one with our word, our primary keyword. So the primary keyword is smoothie. So I go with smoothie A, and all the results that... Uh, are available in Amazon come up. Smoothie B, smoothie book, smoothie C, smoothie cookbook, smoothie cleanse. Remember I added the word cleanse to my title? That wasn't just because, that's because it's a keyword. And by doing this, I drive more traffic than most self-publishers. This takes about 10 minutes to do. It's super easy. You can do it too, and you can use this to make money, build your list, and I hope you do. Okay, now, once we know the primary keyword we're going to target, so for me, that was smoothie recipes and smoothie recipes for weight loss. I go to Google, and what do I put in? I put in the, 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 the keyword I'm going to target, which is smoothie recipes. Because remember, if we look here at Amazon, do you remember what was one of the most popular phrases? Smoothie recipes. That really describes my book, right? Look at my book, too. I, I'm just going to scroll back up here. Is this starting to make sense? Notice the cover, smoothie recipes. You guys seeing how this works? So now I come to Google. I know what my uh, primary keyword target's gonna be, and I wanna see what people are searching when they search for smoothie recipes at Google. Now I see smoothie recipes for yogurt, and my mind says, is there money in that? Uh, no. And then I see smoothie recipes without yogurt. And I say, is there money in that? No. And I continue. And I say, well, let's put in the whole keyword. Maybe that'll be a, a result. And it, and it was. And I was so happy to see that that was an actual search term that people are searching for, not only on Amazon, but on Google, too. And check out the one that's highlighted in yellow, book. And because I added the word book, I'm able to drive traffic from Google when people are searching for smoothie books. Simple, easy, makes me more money. Okay. Now, what do we do? We do the same data mining we did with Amazon. We go through smoothie recipes and we add A and smoothie recipes B and smoothie recipes C. And we just kind of want to get an idea and see what people are searching for. And I'm looking for keywords that are very... Uh, buyer keyword. So a book is a buyer keyword. That's a product. That's what my book, my product is a book, etc. <coughs> <coughs> so what this does is again, it allows you to convert or I should, oh, let me back up. 
What this method does is it allows you to create a title and a subtitle based on an exact keyword phrase and you can mine and understand what additional keyword phrases are being searched for and you can create a subtitle based on those words and you're going to drive more traffic. Okay, uh, yes, Hannah Getty, yes, vegan blogger, oh boy, some of the people are digging deep. Vegan blogger is my website. Uh, Hannah Getty is a, a fictitious name. Um, it was a partnership with my uh, past assistant, uh, so she still has, I let her have that site because I'm, I'm a pretty softy of a guy, but uh, yes, so Michael asked, is Hannah Getty my books? They are. Okay, so step one, we, we make sure that there's money in the niche we're going to publish to. Step two, we create a title that's going to drive more traffic. And step three, we're going to make more money. We're going to multiply our money, and we're going to do that by converting more of the traffic that finds your book. Okay, we're going to convert more of the people that find the book into buyers, and we do that by not publishing book covers that look like this. So when I first published that book, that smoothie book, it was not making $500 a month. This is really important. Pay attention to this. This will make you oodles of money. Humans are incredibly visual creatures. If it looks pretty, it's pretty. If it looks authoritative, it's authoritative. It's just how it works. Now, <clears throat> at the time, I was just getting my feet wet, and I was doing pretty good. And my covers kind of looked like this. But I thought, you know, we can do better. And this is what the book looked like when I first published it. How much do you guys think I was making when that book came, first came out? Uh, okay, this is the fun part. I, I really appreciate that you guys are engaging with me, that we're in this together. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for participating. I appreciate it. Um, $7. Kelly, come on. I was doing better than that. What about all that traffic I was driving? Remember, I, I, I was doing great on the traffic right from the go. Uh, what else do we have? $100. Karen, um, about a little bit more even though. Marcus says 50, 100 a month, uh, 50. Okay, uh, let me show you exactly. So basically, when the book, book first came out, I the first month I probably made 250 bucks. The next month I made 300 bucks. I was ecstatic because I knew I was on to something good. That particular book, I believe it's like 1,400 words. At least when we first launched it, it was. We added more content to really beef it up. But, uh, you know, it, it didn't take long. It wasn't expensive. I outsourced it, and I, it paid for itself, and I was uh, to, on, the, on my way. However, I had not honed the formula, the Azon formula, the revenge formula, to a razor's fine edge like I'm about to share with you. And I thought, you know, let's do a few things. Number one, let's try a promotion strategy, and let's come up with a new cover. Now, first off, notice the cover. Notice the subtitle is not there anymore. Uh, Amazon doesn't seem to mind. And by removing the subtitle, okay, the daily diet, green cleanse, blah, 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 I, it's, it's a cleaner cover. Notice the background is not white. Do you remember a while ago I said, notice the book that's outranking me? Do you guys remember that? It was number one? Okay. That book has a white background. Why the heck would you create a white book and publish it to a website that has a white background? It makes me crazy in the cranium. Notice my book has a border. Okay, my book cover has a border. Also, notice that my target is smoothie recipes. And the biggest words on the cover are, guess what? Smoothie recipes. So simple. So effective, everything should be as simple as possible, but no simpler. 
That wasn't good enough. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, just, just wait a minute. Bam! Kazow! You guys getting where I'm going here? It's a lot of fun. It's not rocket science. People make this marketing stuff out to be more than it has to be. You just have to figure out what's most important. You focus on that, and you too can get great results. Now, this was my result. I made some changes. And all of a sudden, I sold 445 books. I had tons of units borrowed, which I get paid, and I made $987. And a few months later, I made uh, $586. It, you know, that book, I think it was, when was it? Like six months ago, five months ago, I did a promotion. We're going to talk about promotions in about 10 minutes. It went number one again, made all kinds of money. And these are assets. Okay, these are things that add value to people's lives. They get great reviews because they're good books. And they put money in my pocket. And I'm moving forward and building forward. I'm not having to start again and again. Is this legal? <laughs> well, sure, it's legal. We're making books about smoothies, buddy. Absolutely. Rachel says she's pretty sure she has that book. Rachel, you got to let me know. And if you don't, either way, just post on my timeline uh, later and let me know. That's kind of fun. All right, Carol, you take care. I'm glad you stopped by. There, I'll try to get a replay out. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay, in fact, remember I said the book went number one again? Check it out. I dropped the price to 99 cents. I'm still able to earn 70%. I went number one and made all kinds of money again. Your cover is vital to your success. You really want to make sure that you're creating something that is visually appealing. You can get this stuff done for pennies on the dollar. Okay. When we started out and I showed you that one of my books was Azon bestseller, I had that done at Fiverr. Fiverr, five dollar. I hired three people. I I bought a couple upsells. I probably spent a whole 40 bucks. And that book made me a couple thousand in a couple days. Easy. And you don't have to do it yourself. And again, honestly, I don't think you should. Even if you've got great software, I think if you know what you want and you give specific instructions, okay, important. You know what you want. And you can do that by browsing books. Find something you like. And then go to a designer and be specific. Hey, I'm looking for a book. I want these color palettes. I want the, uh, this phrase. Diet and weight loss to be bold and up top. I want my name to be here. I want to have this type of an image. When you're very specific, you can have great covers made on the cheap. You can check into cover creators, but honestly, I think Fiverr is a great way to go. Okay, a couple tips. This stuff is gold. No white backgrounds. Just say it with me. No white backgrounds. Have a border designed for the thumbnail. Okay, most people, when they first see your book, they're not going to see a big picture because they're going to be searching, right? So what are they going to see? They're going to see a thumbnail. Have a clean design. Emphasis your target keywords, and you're going to be able to rock and roll. And this is where I ask you, hey, what do you guys think? Am I delivering? Is this helpful? Is it fun? You know, one of my goals is to have fun, to educate people, to help them get results, and I hope we're doing that tonight. Thank you, Rachel. Okay. Uh, why is that there? Review madness. Couple things. Lots of people uh, kind of lose their mind in internet marketing. All right. Seriously, people lose their freaking mind, and it makes me crazy. It makes me crack my cranium. I say, why? Stop and think for a minute. Back when SEO was big, what did everybody want? You know, oh, in fact, still, you know, if you want to rank, what do you need? Links, right? Does that sound familiar? And how many? Oh, a thousand million. Everyone was getting a thousand million links until their website tanked because Google saw it. It was so fake. Instead, don't lose your mind. And if you need reviews, that's fine. 
But you can get reviews just by doing smart marketing. You can get reviews by doing what I'm sh showing you now because you're going to have more traffic that finds your book than most books. Your traffic's going to convert better because you have an awesome cover, and that leads to more reviews. And I'll show you how to get more reviews by doing promotions in about six minutes as we move forward. However, I've seen some people, and they don't know when enough is enough. And they, I remember one guy in my private Facebook group. He said, Brian, I can't believe it. These people are calling me a scammer. And I'm so disappointed, and I'm working so hard. I got 66 reviews for my book about underwater basket weaving, and they're calling me a scammer because I have 66 reviews. And his niche was so off topic. He had a niche that was, you know, his competitors had an average of maybe 12 reviews. And he had 66 reviews, and his book was out for a week and a half. That is not legitimate. Don't break the terms of service. Don't uh, break the system because you will lose your account. <coughs> Notice here the screenshot. I search space. My book comes up. I've got 16 reviews. Those were all natural reviews. I didn't trade reviews on Facebook. That's against the terms of service. You can't trade reviews. You can't compensate somebody for a review. You can't send them a box of states, a stakes, excuse me, that's breaking the terms of service. And I get excited because I see good people losing their accounts and it makes me upset because they're not thinking and they're just moving forward. So I've got 16 reviews, okay? Now notice here, we've got a review on June 7th and we've got a review on, uh, on June 6th, two reviews on the 6th and the 7th. Okay, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. Again, reviews for any form of compensation are not allowed, so don't game the system. Now, remember those reviews I had on the 6th and 7th. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. There, that, that part's coming up here. Now, my step five is different kinds of ways that you can create books. So I talked about how to create a simple book with children's books, right? And I want to let you know that there's so many other ways. You know, you can create great books with your camera on your iPhone or your Android. You can create great books by doing case studies. You can create great books by outsourcing. Step five is, is exactly how to do that. Now, at this point, again, we are doing fantastic. We've got a great selling topic. We've selected a category that is uh, driving sales. We've got a book title that's based on keywords that people are searching for on Amazon and Google. We've got a killer cover that looks professional, costs us maybe five, ten bucks, and you have a few reviews. That's what you need to get to begin the buzz. Now, step six is push button promos. And you can give your book away. You can do all kinds of things within the Kindle system to promote your book out and basically um, have people review it, have people download it for free, get more reviews, get buzz going, and so on. Now, one of the things that's interesting is that if you've got a brand new book, you do need reviews. And you can give it away, and if you do it this way, if you do it the right way, it will actually improve the search results within Amazon, and it will get more verified reviews, and it will syndicate your book across multiple pages on Amazon. And the way that happens is simple. is people download it for free, and when people download, your book shows up on uh, the pages of other books that that person has bought. Okay, so it's kind of neat, and it helps to get you more uh, advertisement for your site. So step six is push button promos. And when we start off, I recommend people go with the free promotion. Now, currently there are a lot of different promotions that Amazon has available. I don't have time to go through all of them, but I'm going to go the best. I'm going to go through the best way that you can use the free promotion strategy, which is probably the one I use half of the time because I get more reviews and it kind of primes the pump for a lot of sales, even though I just gave my book away because the people that are buying didn't know it was free a week ago. This is how we do it. 
When you sign up and you publish a new book to Amazon, you get five free days that you can allow people to, to grab your book for free. Okay, five days out of a 90-day period. And what's interesting is you can you can use those days any way you want. You can have a one free day, and then 12 days later, you can have another free day, and then 12 days later, you can have another free days. And don't do that. That is not optimal. I know because I tested it out because I published tons of books about two years ago, and it's still the same today. <coughs> do you guys remember... I showed you this screen capture and I showed you the sales, but notice this green bar here. You see it says free units promo. Check this out. 6,250 people downloaded my smoothie book for free. Now, some people are like, why would you give it away for free? You know, because you can make so much more money and whatnot. And it, I don't like that thinking because I think, you know, it was never my money. I didn't have 6,200 sales. I had zero in my pocket. I didn't have any free downloads. I didn't have any sales. And by allowing people to download the book for free, you can actually uh, signal the Amazon search engine that people are interested. You see, Amazon has an algorithm just like Google. And one of the things they look at is free downloads. In fact, free downloads are viewed as a sale. So if enough people... And again, wow, check out these numbers, 6,000, 2,000, 7,000, lots and lots of free downloads. Good things can happen. Remember the space book? Remember I said I had some uh, free, I had people review the book. I think it was like uh, 6th and 7th of June. Well, I had seven, 718 people download the book for free. And two days later, I got two reviews. So that's how you don't need to game the system. You don't have to spend time bugging your friends. You just have to work the system, focus on the six steps, and you'll do really, really well. This is the best way to use your six days. Uh, your five days, period, uh, pardon me. Six steps, five free days. This is what I suggest, is when you come out with a new book, offer it for uh, free for two days, and then offer it again for another two days, maybe a month later, or do maybe three days free and then two days. And here's why. What I found is when I launch a book and I make it free, the first day, Amazon kind of takes notice. It takes about 12 hours for the algorithm to notice that all kinds of people are downloading it. So if you only have one day, what happens is Amazon just kind of notices and then the promotion ends. And it's like, wah, wah, wah. it's very sad. You don't want that to happen. So instead, if you have a two-day promotion, on the second day, Amazon sends all kinds of targeted traffic because it has a huge database of customers. And it knows what customers want what and what they're interested in. So if you've got a book about weight loss and it's free, your book is going to be advertised to those people that are interested in that. And that's how you get those free downloads. Again, two, two, one is great. Two days, two days, and one day, or have a three-day promotion and a two-day promotion. Yes, that's correct, uh, Karen. Every 90 days, you can, you'll get another five free days, as long as you're still opted in and into KDP Select. And they have other promotions as well, so pretty cool. Hey, Brian Basilica, Basilico, rather, buddy, good to see you, man. Anyway, let's continue here. So here are some tips I want to leave with you as we move forward and we kind of wind down. Think about being reasonably prolific, okay? The idea is you want to be publishing books. You don't want to spend a year writing one book unless it's trust funnel and it's going to be like this, this legacy thing you leave behind. Then you do that. But for a Kindle ebook, you know, maybe a month, right? Maybe you do one a month and, and by the end of a year, you've got a 12 books, you're making all kinds of money, you're building your list. That's better than just publishing crap. Focus on adding value and quality. Build a better book. Build a better mousetrap. Build a better marketing book. A good title, a good cover. Think about promotions. Make sure you're publishing in uh, markets where there are buyers. And formatting simplified.
one of the things that I came up with when I started uh, publishing children's books with pictures is I had to I had to like format the images and compress them and I had to get them in the right kind of package for Kindle so it looked good on an iPad and it would look good on a phone and it was kind of a pain in the butt and we'll talk about the solution I came up with. Now does this stuff really work for everyday average folks? Well I want to let you know absolutely. Now this is Bart, uh, Brock I should say. Brock has been uh, on, again he's been with me for a while. He's He's been through several of my programs. He's gonna. Uh, he's really excited about like the next thing I've got coming out, and and he's done fabulous with his Kindle self publishing. And this is uh, Bob, and Bob again got tremendous results using the strategies that I'm sharing with you today. And this is uh, actually Melissa. Now Melissa came into my program and was making over four figures within about six to seven weeks. She paid me a, a big chunk of money and she made it back and she's continuing to, to move on and do really, really well by focusing on my revenge formula in my Kindle six step system. This works like gangbusters. It works for me. It worked for Julie. It worked for uh, Kathy. It worked for Bill. It worked for all kinds of people. This is real. It gets results. And I'm curious how many of you are going to take me up on the offer I'm about to present and you're going to have tremendous results and you're going to be one of these people. Okay. These aren't like internet gurus. These are people that I've gotten to know that I've supported and I feel so honored and blessed to be able to do this. And I know I can help you get the same. And here's what I got to share. This is going to be something different. And I know that is cliche in this industry, but if you give me five minutes of your time, I'm guessing that you're going to think so too. So I have got a coaching program that gets underway very soon. When I mean coaching program, I don't mean you have access to a huge website and there's no rhyme or reason. You're not sure where you start. No, we get together on webinars just like this. I start you at A and I take you all the way to Z. I tell you what to do and why to do it. I tell you the best way to do it. I share my examples. I tell you what sucked for me and what worked well. I answer your questions, I'm around, and I provide you with just enough information to get results. There's a lot of it, but there's no more than you need, okay? And I, I created this program about a year and a half ago, and I called it Revenge of the Affiliates because it was based on that concept I had, right? Creating something that couldn't be taken, taken away, creating something that Google couldn't interfere with, creating something that added value, and also creating something that could be uh, a part of an overall system, like my trust funnel system. Now, you can absolutely do this. I've done it, and I'm an average guy with a bit of hustle. So many people have come before you and they have done it too. And if you're looking for something real you can sink your teeth in, if you're tired of struggling and you want to make a change, I'm going to give you an opportunity to grab a hold of something that is a once in a, a lifetime opportunity. And again, I know that sounds cliche. Hear what I have to say. And tell me if you think I'm full of BS. This is a true po coaching program. Okay, this is not a digital product. This is you and me working together. I take you from the beginning to the end. Now, you're going to get module one. It's based on step one. You get uh, a PDF reports. You get step-by-step -step videos. I'll walk you through exactly how to determine which niche markets you should publish in. Okay, that's valued at 197 You get module two. It's called Traffic Revenge. It's based on step two. It's based on how we title our books, just like I demonstrated and shared with you on this very webinar. You get all the information. If you want to read, you'll have written PDF reports explaining the process step by step. If you want to watch videos, I got you covered. And you'll sit in with a live training with me, and I'll walk you through the process one step at a time from the beginning to the end. And what's beautiful about a coaching program is it solves one of the biggest things that stops people from achieving results. And the fact is they stop. 
They don't complete anything. And it's easy not to complete when you don't have any direction. At the beginning of the webinar, I talked about, you know, having a clear direction, understanding what you want to do and how you're going to do it. I'm going to give you an opportunity to be a part of something that's going to last for three months. And by the time you get to the end of the three months, you will be making money or you get your money back. Just simple as that. It's how it's going to work. Okay. Now, module three is based on the cover stuff that I showed you. How to create the cover, where to outsource it, what to think about, what to mend, all the stuff you need to know so you can get covers done very cheap so they look great and so on. You get the videos, you get PDF reports, you get live training with me. Okay, we do it together. Module four, review madness, same exact stuff. We have a webinar, okay? We're gonna have eight webinars. I'm gonna walk you through about once a week, we're gonna jump on a webinar, we're gonna spend some time, I'm gonna give you some homework, I'm gonna hold you accountable, and I'm gonna get you results like you've never had before. I've done it before for hundreds of people, and I can do it for you. If you're not sure, if you're a little hesitant, put it on me, put it on my shoulders, okay? And module five, how to create different types of ebooks. Again, you get videos, you get live training, you get PDF reports, and the same with module six, and these are all valued at $197. You're also going to get a getting started guide, a goal sheet, and these are valued at $47. You're going to get eight live, by the hand, step-by-step -step coaching webinars with me. This price point is ridiculous. Eight webinars, that's about 16 hours of my time for $500. But I don't do this just for the money. I do this because I want to see results in other people. It gives me that certain something. It puts that pixie dust in my face. It puts that smile. It's the thing that drives me. And that's why I'm willing to put something on the table that is truly ridiculous. I've never offered what I'm about to offer and I hope it holds up to the hype I'm building here. I think it will. Now you'll also access the community. It's valued at $47. We got a, a forum and a Facebook group, and we have a really cool uh, Kindle formatting solution. <coughs> this is going on pretty long. I'm not gonna show you now, but here's what I wanna let you know. You log into a website. You click uh, publish a book. You add the name of the book. You add the name of the author, you uh, pub you write out the content just like you're writing an email. You, you select the image button if you want to add in an image. And when you're done, you click publish and it makes a zip file for you and it's perfectly formatted. It formats and compresses the images. It resizes the images. It does it all. I'll show you in a bit, but I want to give you the whole ball, the whole picture here. If we have time, if you guys want to see it, I will show you but I want to keep trucking and, and show everything you get with this coaching program. Okay. So how much does this three month adventure cost? Now, if I added up all the stuff I showed you, right? The webinars, the training, uh, the videos, it's actually got a real world value. And again, these are real prices, you know? I mean, hey, um, where's this one? The webinars, is that worth $400, $500? I think so. Eight live webinars? Where do you get eight live webinars with, a, with someone that has got the kind of experience I bring to the table for $497? This is real live value, okay? Real live value for $2,317. Again, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and never will I ever offer this again. This is a special opportunity and here's why I'm doing it. Because I just released Trust Funnel. And honestly, I am at, uh, I hate this, I hate the phrase, customer acquisition. I don't know if I like that very much. But right now, I want more people to know about me. I want people to try the kind of help and coaching that I've been providing for five years and I'm willing to do something I've never done before. Now in 2010, I offered a coaching program 
at $497. It was called Halloween Super Affiliate. And 500 people paid me and got tremendous results. <coughs> In 2011, I came out with 300 internet marketers. Now I charge $385 uh, to my dismay because honestly, that product was supposed to be priced at $997 and ClickBank pulled the rug out of my feet right as I was launching. So $385. In 2013, I released this program. It was uh, priced at $497, and well over 500 people joined me and got tremendous results. And some of the testimonials you saw were from those people. I want you to know that this program is based on core fundamentals like keywords, covers. That means it's up to date. You know, covers don't go out of date. The strategies I share with you about how to create a cover are not going out of date. And at the same time, we're doing this program again. This is not canned webinars. You're live with me, and I've got more to share based on news things that are happening with Kindle, and that makes this a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, $197, okay? If you want results, if you want to be able to work with someone over a period of time, you have an opportunity to jump in with me today and get a part of a coaching program. And again, let's just... Let's just kind of reel back history. 2010, Brian releases Halloween Super Affiliate and charges $497. 500 people pay him that much money. He banks about $125,000 and makes a bunch of money selling affiliate stuff. And the next year, he comes out with another coaching program, puts in 700 people, banks another 106 figures or whatever, 100 k In 2013, he does the same thing. What are the chances of me really pricing this at 197? Friends, believe me when I say that clearly I've cracked my cranium. And if you want a taste of what I can provide, now is the time to jump in because this will not be around ever again. Uh, and it's going to go away in a number of days. And I'll explain why that is. It's nothing about uh, scarcity. Okay. It's about classes getting underway very soon. I can't have people joining me in three weeks because we'll be on uh, webinar number three, module number three. So right now we're at a very special time and place. And I want to know if you're the person that is going to grab the bull by the horns tonight and take this ride with me for three months and help me to provide you with the guidance that will really help you in to be able to move forward. And I, I, I know you're already uh, in, Bart, and I can't wait to work with you, Bart. And Marco, I'm bam, I'm glad that you're going to be in. And uh, Robert, that information is coming. So a lot of you are sold. Uh, we're going to get to the, the link where you buy. I'm so excited to work with, with lots of people. And here's how this is going to go down. <coughs> Okay, you get a 60 days, no bullshit money back guarantee. If you're not happy, you get your money back. Simple as that. 60 days, you, you ask me, you keep the webinars you've watched, you download all the PDFs, I, you know, that's fine. You've got a 60-day period to see if it's really worth your while, okay? I've got some bonuses. You're going to get the traffic unlimited. You're going to get how to outsource this stuff. Okay, that's another module. It's valued at 197. You get videos, blah, blah, blah. This is what I want you guys to do, okay? The doors are going to close this coming Saturday. Again, it's, it's, it's scarcity, but I'd like to think it's real. And here's why. We're getting started tomorrow, guys. We get started with Revenge of the Trust Funnel Academy. Oh, yeah, I don't even know what that is, but I'm excited, and it's going to be all kinds of fun, and I can't wait to see the success stories that are going to come out. We get started tomorrow. If you can't make the webinar tomorrow, yes, absolutely, there'll be a, a replay. And if my replays break for a train, I do it again. So there will be a replay. The first webinar is tomorrow, and I need you guys to jump in and join me because I want to get you the results you're after. So here's what I want you to do. Jump to this address right here, trustfunnelbook.com forward slash go. Okay, just jump in there. 
<coughs> type that in trustfunnelbook.com forward slash go and you're going to be taken to the buy page it's got a little bit of information about what you're getting all the modules but here's what's really important because like I said you're actually going to be getting this product at 60% off and I'm not going to be offering this again at this price point it's crazy so in order to get that discount you have to actually use a coupon code you'll be taken to a checkout page at JVZoo and the coupon code you're going to enter is TFB for trust funnel book revenge and you add that in and it'll take about three hundred dollars off of your purchase price and you'll pay one ninety seven okay uh, Ricardo I'll definitely answer your questions I've done the very best I can I do have about a hundred people here right now and it's hard to hit all of them so give me a little bit of uh, time and we'll definitely get to it all right Peggy I'm glad you're in too we've got a lot of people that have already signed up uh, Dana Dana can this be used in uh, your target market I would say probably if your target market is buying books on Kindle then you can use this to basically grow your list uh, gain your uh, some expert status and move forward to be able to you know really grow your network drive more sales make money on the ebooks and again build your list and then you can funnel that list into your coaching program okay so let me do something here I'm gonna open up a new tab I'm gonna type in trustfunnelbook.com forward slash go okay guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in the link to the uh, the cart page and you can just go ahead and click that I just send it in through the uh, the toolbar so in the chat in the toolbar if you open that up you'll see that trustfunnelbook.com forward slash go is there and you'll see once in a lifetime opportunity and again here's everything you're getting you're getting the videos the, the web live webinars with me you're getting access to the community you're getting lots of good stuff and uh, wow you get everything for 197 when that's like three times uh, below my my rate you're getting 60% off and all you're gonna do is click this button first go ahead and copy and paste this so just uh, right click right and then uh, or I'm sorry left click and then right click on copy and then click this yellow button and that'll take you to JVZoo and here what you're gonna do is you're gonna add in your email address and then here you're gonna want to just simply paste in the coupon code and then here notice it says 497 so you're gonna click apply and now the price is at 197 you're gonna enter in your PayPal email address and then you're gonna go ahead and uh, check out with PayPal and you are gonna be good to go uh, there is no payment plan at 197 I'm afraid there isn't a, a payment plan I'm sorry um, Uh, yeah, you should be able to uh, access it now, Tanya. And I'll be back in about 30 seconds, gang. Just one moment, please. <clears throat> So first off, I'd like to say thank you for everybody that you know showed up tonight, spent some time, and I'd like to know first, just right off the bat, and Joe, it's great to see you again. And I, uh, is this the same as Kindle Ritual? No. 
Uh, in fact, it's going to be very different from Kindle Ritual. And I want to let you know that we're going to be tying in some of the themes of my book, Trust Funnel, with this uh, coaching program. Now, because it's live, I'm able to tailor the content. And uh, if, you, if you've been uh, happy with the programs before, then this might be something you're going to look want to think about. And it is going to be uh, different than Kindle Ritual. And thank you, Peggy. I appreciate it. Oh, you missed the whole thing. Wes, dang, dang nabbit indeed. <laughs> we had a great webinar, my friend, and people really enjoyed it. It looks like uh, PayPal ha does have a billing option, someone says. So if you need a payment option, that might be a, an option. So J uh, Joe, awesome. Congratulations. Welcome aboard. Super excited to have you in the program. Um, who else is in? If you've uh, joined tonight, if you've already joined when you went through the Trust Funnel book launch, let me know. I would just like to say hello. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, so you've been looking forward to the webinar all week and you missed it. Well, here's what I'll do. I do have this recording, uh, Wes, and I'll make a, a replay available, and that'll be available to, tomorrow morning sometime. Next time, make sure you don't miss it, th though, buddy. This was fun. We had a blast. But it happens. Uh, so if you've joined, just let me know. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm in. Dana, can't wait to get started. Uh, we're going to have fun. Is it Dana or Dana? I'm kind of terrible with names. Uh, Dana. Otis, is it Dana or Dana? He's not sure either. Um, okay, uh, Marco. Awesome. Welcome aboard. I'm, I'm super excited to have you in. And Angela, you're in too. And so is Peggy. Woohoo! This is going to be so much fun. Trying but having issues. Okay, Robert. So if you're having issues, um, I'm going to leave you guys uh, some information. You can email me at Brian Johnson, Brian Johnson Coaching at Gmail. So if you have any issues, you can email me at Brian Johnson coaching at gmail and we'll see if we can get it uh fixed out and bart i know that you mentioned that you're in so i'm excited to work with you again buddy that'll be a lot of fun and scott welcome ab aboard oh excellent wes hey robert uh yes robert says he's been through the training it's awesome i'm glad you think so and one of the things that's kind of neat is for people that went through this program with me the first time about 18 months ago, is they get to go through it again for free. You know, I could have charged, but again, that's not how I roll. And I'm hoping that you'll really love the value I deliver and uh, we'll be able to work together. Uh, who? Derek is in. Dana, is that right? Hopefully. And Derek is, is in as well. Derek, welcome. And Deborah, you joined as well. Awesome. Uh, can you get a quick rundown? You just joined. Yes, you can. Um, Jim, I'm going to try to get a, a webinar recording. I'll give you the, the rundown now. I think that would be helpful for people. But at the same time, it, it, you might want to see if you can... Uh, do, 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 let's do this. <coughs> you might want to see if you can watch the replay because you're just not going to be able to really understand everything that we went through. It's too bad. We went through all this great training and we I kind of demonstrated all these amazing people that are making money based on these six steps. I wish you could have seen it, but I will kind of share with you what this program is about. So first off, oh, actually, I don't want to use. There we go. This is a little bit better. So I bet you there's a few of you that might be wondering, or maybe there's a few that are on the fence. I'm just going to go through this again real quick and just kind of outline exactly what this is all about. So this is the coaching program. For 2015 and when I get to the price point wow crazy 
Now, this is uh, a coaching program. It's going to take place, I would say, somewhere between 10 uh, weeks and three months. Okay, so two and a half to three months. <clears throat> We're going to have a minimum of eight live webinars. That is going to be the core, and I'm going to take you A through Z. We're going to get started tomorrow, and I'm going to we're going to get started tomorrow. We're going to talk about kind of not just so much Kindle, but choosing a niche that you can leverage to drive traffic in a number of ways, whether it's Facebook, Kindle, YouTube. And I'm going to share how to pull this together for an overall plan that you can apply with an overall marketing strategy that will really set you up beyond Kindle, but will put you on a path where you don't have to start over. Isn't that wonderful that you can start with this, you can focus on this, you can get results, but then you can do other things that will further enhance. We'll talk about that tomorrow, okay? Again, true coaching program, it's not a digital product. I'll be getting together with folks about probably three times a month, uh, once a week or so, over the course of about three months, like I said. Um, probably for the first two months, it'll be about once a week or so. Module one is based on how to pick a, a category and a, a topic on Kindle that's selling really well. It's based on what I do. It's based on proven results. You get videos, PDF reports, and you get a live training webinar with me. Module two is based on how I title my uh, books. And this is interesting because I'm titling my books based on what people are searching for, not just at Amazon, but at Google. You get videos, you get PDF reports, you get live training with me and lots more. Module three is based on how I create my covers. You know, humans are visual creatures. And, you know, if we think something looks good, it's good. It's just kind of how it is. It's that perception is reality. Uh, and with that, in this module, I'm going to share with you how to have an ebook cover outsourced on the extreme cheap. I'm talking $10, $5, $15. They look amazing and you can go really far. You can sell more books. So we're driving more traffic. We're selling more books. And it's all based on what I've been doing for two to three years now. Module four is how to get reviews, but how to do it without losing your mind and without losing your account. How to stay within the regulations. You get videos, uh, PDF reports. You get live training with me. Again, this is uh, valued at 197. All these modules are valued at 197. Module five is different types of ways to create eBooks. Uh, lots of information uh, available. You can log in and see all these different types of ways you can create books. You can use your phone to create books. You can take pictures. You can create children's books. Lots of information. I've got you covered. <coughs> And then module six is push button promotions. This is valued again at 197. You get the videos, the PDF reports, you get live training. And what's fun is we're going to dive in and, and cover some new topics that are based on new stuff that Amazon is rolling out. So this is going to be uh, different for those of you that participated in the revenge program uh, about a year and a half ago. We're going to have some new information. I know you're going to love it. I'm excited. And uh, it's just going to be a great, uh, a great three-month program. There's getting started guides and goal sheets, everything you need to really move forward. Seriously, nothing has been left out. In fact, we also have some software that makes formatting a piece of cake. If you can write an email, you can format. Again, you're getting eight live, by the hand, step-by-step -step coaching webinars with myself. This is valued at $497. That's real-world value. You know, how many... People at my level that have gotten great results for well over 12 years would uh, put a value of their time at 497, 16 hours. Pretty, pretty uh, real value here. Now you get access to the community. You get the formatting solution. And this has a real world value of $2,300. However, because I really wanted to make a special opportunity for people that were a part of my book launch, I basically cut my rate by about two thirds or about half or so. And uh, in 2010, I launched a, a coaching program focused on affiliate marketing and I charged $500. 500 people joined. I made a lot of money. They made a lot of money. It was a beautiful program. 
A year later, in 2011, I launched another program. Now, that program was supposed to be priced at $997. However, ClickBank pulled the rug out from under me right before we were about to launch. So we charged $385. That was an amazing program. Lots of people did great. And a year and a half ago, I launched this same program. I charged $497, and all kinds of people jumped in, 500 plus. They made a ton of money. I had some great results. It was fun. And that's why by charging simply 197 is truly a special offer. Uh, this is not going to be happening, happening again uh, on a webinar like this. Never will I present this type of an offer on a webinar. Mark my word. Okay, uh, uh, Eric, I feel okay. I've got a lot of energy, and I'm at about 50%, which means I can fly pretty high. So you're more than welcome. It was my pleasure. <clears throat> David says, uh, great book, Brian. I'm on my third read. I'm glad you think so. Fantastic. I, I really wanted to add, make something that would uh, really add value for people. Is anybody else having issues with PayPal? So Robert, I'm not sure why you're having issues with PayPal. If anybody else is, if you could uh, leave a message, that would help. And I want to re repeat, okay, guys? I'm going to go ahead and pull up pages. If anybody has any problems, feel free to send me an email. Now, that's clearly too big. Okay. So Brian Johnson coaching at Gmail. If you're having any problems, send me an email. We'll get it uh, taken care of. Okay. See you tomorrow. Uh, Yes, Scott, I'll see you tomorrow, and I hope I'm feeling better, too. Yes, we're going to start tomorrow, Lauren, and I'm excited, and I'm glad you're excited, too. Okay, Angela, uh, you take care. We'll see you. Is this for newbies? Absolutely, Lily. You can't get uh, into a better program, and I say that, uh, and I really mean it. And here's why, Lily. Okay, let me uh, – yes, yes, I'll help you, and I'll look at your next uh, question. But here's what I want you to think. You can follow along. You don't have to have it all figured out. You just have to know that tomorrow night you're going to spend time with me. That's all you need to worry about. I'll take care of you. You don't have to have a domain. You don't have to have web hosting. You don't have to know about uploading files. I've got it all taken care of for you. There is not an easier program, I promise. Seriously. And I'm going to go ahead... Yes, it's the same members areas as 2013, but new webinars will be going in that uh, membership, Leanne. So welcome aboard. You're in the, the program again, Leanne. And the webinars are going to be new, and they're going to be featuring some new information. So I think you'll find that helpful. No, I, um, we're not going to co cover affiliate marketing. Not, uh, not with this program. Because honestly, this program, Lily, is about Kindle. And I can't focus on three or four different things with a bunch of people and get great results. One of the things that's really important is to focus and stay clear on exactly what you want to do. And for me, I want to do this program. There's lots of people that are doing it. Now, in the future, I can teach you affiliate marketing. But for this program, we're going to focus on Kindle publishing. We're going to have laser focus. We're going to move forward. And if you're brand new and you're not sure, this is a great way. You don't have to have a website. You don't have to have a hosting. You don't have to launch, worry about links or cloaking things or this or that. It's super easy. Uh, you mentioned integrity. Yes, I market with integrity and I can help you do, to do the same. And when we're done with this program, I can give you some pointers and I can, uh, in fact, here's what we'll do, Lily. At the end, I'll do a bonus webinar just for you 
on affiliate marketing. And I'll share how you can get started with that. And that will be a bonus webinar because I felt like doing it. So Lily, if you come in, uh, we'll do a bonus webinar and it'll be webinar number nine. So that'll be exciting. Uh, quick question, uh, Dana, your site says 60 day guarantee. It's a 60 day guarantee. Okay. 60 days, no matter what, um, I'm, I apologize for the typo, um, 60 days, mark my word. Is this the only training that you will have links into the trust funnel? I'm not sure exactly what you're saying, Wes. Um, oh, links. No, there'll be more training around trust funnel, but this is what I'm going to get with right now. Okay. And this is a great place to start. Uh, so I think this is what I wanted to lead off with because it's easy and people get results right away. So it's a great place to start, Wes. And I, I do want to let you know that tomorrow when we get started, we're going to talk about branding a little bit. We're going to talk about how to choose a niche. And that's going to apply not just to Kindle, but to affiliate marketing. So, you know, Lily, there will be a few things about affiliate marketing, but primarily Kindle. <coughs> <coughs> okay um robert i'm not sure I, well dang that's too bad send me an email okay robert here's the uh the address brian johnson coaching and we'll try to get it get you in there do i do any one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching that'll be coming later in about four to five months so once i start wrapping up uh what i have to offer right now, Jim, I'm going to be offering one-on-one -on -one coaching, something I've never done, and it's going to be pretty exciting. So this might be a great um, uh, introduction uh, to, to my coaching, what I offer, and it might help you solidify if you want to work with me more moving forward. All right, guys, we're going to wrap things up here. So first of all, um, I, I hope you found this webinar helpful. I'm super excited. So many of you jumped in. Um, you did purchase tonight. Lots of people have already purchased. I appreciate your confidence in me. I appre appreciate your trust in me. And more than anything, at the beginning of the webinar, I said, you know, I hope you find this webinar to be helpful. And I'm going to do everything in my power to deliver value, whether you buy or not. I hope that's the case. If we're friends on Facebook, tell me what you liked about the webinar. Tell me what you didn't like. Maybe head to my uh, page on Facebook and just drop me a message and tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. I'd love to know it. <coughs> uh, Lily says, I'm the real deal. I'm just me. I'm just trying to do what I can. I hope I can help you, Lily. Um, either way, um, I'm glad you were here tonight. What kind of money are people making, Brian? Uh, lots of people are making uh, 500 a month. Lots of people are making 300 a month. There's lots of people making four figures. I'm making four figures, thousands of dollars a month. And also understand that we can leverage this to make even more. I know people that are making 10,000 a month and more. There's all kinds of money to be made. And we can use this to build a brand, to gain expert status, to build a list, to get more money and so on. And that's why I think it's such a tremendous opportunity. Uh, Deborah, I will take care of you. If you're having problems, no problem. I don't want you to worry. Please send me an email to brianjohnsoncoaching at gmail.com, and I will take care of you first thing in the morning. Yeah, Robert, I'm not sure why you're having a tough time. It's a drag, but uh, send me an email, and I'll see if I can help, okay? Okay, so Deborah, you are, okay, you're not having problems. Great. Okay, great. The house is almost done. We move in in a month. Uh, I'm glad you thought the training was awesome last time, Robert. It'll be good this time, and I'm sure we can get you in. We'll figure it out, buddy. And R Ricardo says, just brought the program. Looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to working with you. So that's it, guys. I'm going to uh, log off. Thank you so much. I had a ton of fun, even though I'm down and out a little bit. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun, and it's going to last for three months. Uh, I'm Brian G. Johnson, 
uh, poof, pixie dust. 